people what is good if you look around here you will notice that i am in a new garage we have finally moved into our new spot some of my previous videos posted will show where you know i took a couple bike trips out to the new site and in those videos obviously you'll see that there was a lot of empty territory um but Again, since then, uh, we've had a home built. Uh, in December, early December, we closed out on the home, moved in. So I've been really busy uh, moving stuff from the old place over here to the new place. Man, I tell you, it was a lot of hard work. Multiple trips to the dump, um, renting, um, well, not renting, but uh, hiring uh, moving teams, to move, you know, a lot of the heavier stuff. I've had some of my friends come out and help me move some of the more moderate stuff. And then the rest of the stuff, uh, myself, my wife and my daughter, um, you know, we finished things up. But the house is just about uh, done. Um, still got a lot of work to do. Well, I won't say a lot. We still got some considerable work to do, mainly in the dining room and here in the garage. You know, as you can see, um, this place still is uh, in, in, a, in a bit of a disarray. Um, my gym particularly um, is not set up. I got my, uh, my little Marcy gym. Um, it's a, it's a multi-station. That's, uh, that's set up, but um, I still haven't started back working out yet. But anyway, that's all besides the point. Um, I wanted to talk about Quick's new habitat because, again, we got us a new garage. So Quick has his own, you know, personal space over here. And uh, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. But um, ironically, yesterday, somehow, <laughs> Quick got out the yard. And, and let me back up. So Quick is my 2023 uh, GSXR 750. I refer to him as my 400-pound Rottweiler. Now, that old Rottweiler, that fella got out the yard yesterday and he went in, <laughs> he found him a little companion and brought him back home uh, with him. So uh, <laughs> if I turn this camera around here to Quick's old new habitat, you will notice that Quick is not by himself. Quick's got him a little buddy over here. And uh, people, I'm here to tell you that, uh, man, <laughs> I fooled around and stumbled upon a 2024 GSXR 1000. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Now, like I said, I refer to Quick as my 400 pound Rottweiler. Well, this GSXR 1000 is Quick's big brother. Now, since Quick is a 2023, Quick is the older brother, yet this 1000 is the bigger brother for obvious reasons. It is a 1000. And I'm telling you people, man, this thing is beautiful. I got two beautiful bikes sitting up here in this garage and the weather outside is absolutely terrible. I'm not going to be doing any riding. Pardon, y'all, pardon me. I'm, I'm dropping stuff out right here. What I have here is uh, some, some new winglet mirrors that I'm going to be putting on real quick. But anyway, let me get back to the, uh, to the point here. I won't be doing any riding anytime soon because it is absolutely nasty outside. I'm going to hold this camera up here to the glass and you can see outside. It is a mess out there. It is an absolute mess, man. Somebody save me from this doggone snow. I mean, come on, <laughs> man. But anyway, I can't wait for that to all clear up and I'm able to get this pretty bike out there on the road. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get back on old quick either. Can't wait to get both these bad boys out there on the road. Let them play. You know, because dogs love to play. Dogs have to be ran. They, they, they need to be stretched out. Now, it's a bit ironic because I refer to these, these bikes as dogs. 
Um, but you know, this 1000, I had to give it a name and because it's gray in color, just like, so 750 is gray. I figured since I, I named this one Quicksilver and this fella is so big and powerful that I wanted to name him a silverback, but I, I didn't really name him a silverback, but I'm modeling, modeling him after the silverback, the silverback ape. And for those who are familiar with the movie, um, it's the planet of the apes. It's not the planet of the apes. That's the old school, um, version, but the new school, I think it was, um, rise of the planet of the apes. The head ape in that movie was Caesar. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you guys to Caesar. This is my silverback. Man, look at this thing. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely stunning. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at it. I'm just going to take a minute, man, to soak this thing in. I went down to Falls Church, Virginia yesterday and picked this bad boy up. I put him on the back of my truck on my Black Widow trailer, which is this high speed contraption right here, this Black Widow trailer. I strapped this fella down and I brought him on in. And I'm telling you, I was a happy camper when I got home. Now, um, Right off the bat, man, this thing is a monster. It still has this big ass toaster oven on the side here. But even with that toaster oven, you fire this bad boy up, man, and it sounds like a monster. It sounds like an absolute beast. Um, and, you know, what I could do is uh, do a little sound comparison. I can fire up old quick here. He's got this uh, Yoshimura R77 Delta slip-on pipe, and it sounds beautiful, man. This thing sounds very nice when you fire it up. Um, and I wanted to do a little comparison between the two to see what the uh, 1000 sounds like with this stock pipe on it versus um, this custom Yoshi pipe. And it's just a slip-on. It's not a full exhaust system. But again, the thing sounds beautiful. Um, and, and I might cut a, a video later. Or I, I might pause this video, set things up, and, uh, and come back and, and give you a comparison. But I wanted to run through some of the things that I have in store for this bike real quick. Um, you know, right off the bat, this, this big... <laughs> this big ass toaster oven, this big microwave oven on the side, that thing has got to go. I'm going to be replacing that. Hopefully next week I'll have all the uh, parts. I got some things in the mail right now. I'm going to be replacing that with acro, 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 yeah, Acropovic uh, slip-on. That thing's going to sound nice. I, I watched a couple of different videos where folks had the uh, Acropovic slip-on. Um, some had the full exhaust, but I'm just going to go with the slip on. Nonetheless, man, the thing sound, sounded absolutely beautiful and it looks better too. It's going to give the bike a more, more of a aesthetically pleasing look, but it's a beauty all by itself. But anyway, I'm going to change this pipe out. This big ass duck bill on the back, that's got to go. I, I got a nice, uh, fender, uh, tidy kit that's going to be coming in and tighten up that, that rear fender. Um, eventually I will get the, uh, core modal brake lines, just like I got on old quick over here. I got these red, uh, steel braided brake lines. I'm going to get some of those and I'm going to throw on this puppy for the back and the front. Um, and like I have on quick, I'm going to get me some, some red grips and bar ends throw on here. Um, I'm going to be switching out these uh, these brake and, and clutch levers as well um, with some ASV clutch levers. This big ass coffee cup, that's going to go. Um, I have a Rizoma uh, fluid reservoir that's going to be coming in here soon too. I'm going to get rid of this windscreen. I'm going to drop me a, another red windscreen in there, double bubble. 
Um, so the, the, the plan is I'm going to have twin bikes. These, these are brothers. They're going to look very similar, um, yet they will be distinct in their own way. You know, you got a 1000 versus a uh, 750. Now, some people might say, you know, well, why do you want to have two bikes that, that basically are kitted out very similar? Well, it's like if you have two Rottweilers, they both look the same, but they are completely different. They both have their different temperaments. Um, so yeah, these are my bikes and that's what I want to do with them. So that's what it's going to be. Um, anyway, moving right along, I uh, got some flush mounts that are coming in. So I'm going to replace these um, flash indicators or, you know, these lane indicators. Uh, what else? These on the 1000R actually have lights in here and those lights light up. <laughs> Obviously lights will light up, <laughs> but uh, there are LEDs in here. So I ordered me some of those LEDs. I'm going to have them dropped in there. That's going to absolutely look sick. When you fire the bike up, you have this center light and you have um, this light here as well um, for the Ram air intake, you know, have those lights above there. That thing's going to look absolutely sick. I may end up getting me the Rizoma, uh, winglet mirrors and slap them on here too. Um, what else am I going to do? Oh, th this, this seat, this definitely has to go. That's, that's going to be high on the to-do list is going to get these, uh, these seats replaced with some custom seat covers. And then I think I will wrap everything up. I might get me another a, a chain guard on there, just like I got on a on old uh on old quick over there. I'm gonna get me a custom chain guard put on here. And I think the final piece will be the uh Coromoto wheels. Now, I don't know if I want to go with red wheels, because again, I, you know, I don't want both the bikes to look, well, they're not going to look at, you know, exactly the same, but I don't want to kit them out exactly the same. So I'm, I'm, I'm really tossed between whether or not I want to get, um, the red core modal rims like these, obviously they, they have different shades of red. I could get a, um, a satin red and put those on here. Or I could just go with the gray uh, rims. I could go with gray rims. I don't know if, if that gray, you know, if that'll be too much gray because obviously you got a whole lot of gray on the bike and the, the red is the accents. So I don't know if, if gray rims would go. But you have a lot of black on the bottom and then you've had that gray. I don't know. Uh, I would really appreciate it if uh, you know you folks drop some comments and let me know what you think. If I should go with gray or if I should go with red for the uh, for the wheels. Now the uh, the tires, I'm gonna keep them. I'm probably just gonna pull them off of here and put them on there because uh, the wheel kit for the 1000 it has the six inch on the back and the stock tire is already a six inch. I mean, that fella is fat. And if I didn't have that big ass duck bill in there, you'd be able to see it a little better. But I mean, you can see, man, that is a wide tire. And it's, again, I got a, a 190 on, on quick too. Man, that thing, boy, look at it. It's a whole lot of meat back there. But um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, I am so excited, man. I, gosh. I was on the internet and I was looking up the 1000 and uh, I, I looked at the 1000s near me and the thing popped up and it was in the gray color scheme like I like it. It is something about the color gray and the color red. I don't know what it is, but I really love that color combination. I saw it and I said, man, I got to get it. And I tossed it around for a few weeks or so. And finally, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this bike. So, the rest is history.
So, people, there it is. Man, I am so fired up. Um, if you enjoyed this video and, uh, you know, you want to continue to, to follow this journey of mine as I, you know, continue in this newfound love for bikes. I have become a motorcycle enthusiast. I think um, we'll give it another year or so. And uh, the next bike, I'm going to give me a Busa. And that's going to close out my my, my biking um, ventures. And, uh, but that booster, man, that thing's going to be, that thing's going to be nasty. I am, I'm, I'm saying it now. I'm going to get me an all things Chrome custom booster. That thing is going to be nasty. And I'm going to have me a nice little family of Suzuki's. And, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy this, this chapter of life as a military retiree. And, um, Man, we're gonna make it do what it do. And listen, man, I'm not I'm not gonna be out here trying to rip and run and race cats and 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 you know ride like some young hooligan. I'm not a squid. Um I am a mature guy. That don't mean I, I won't get down on it every now and then, but I'm not I'm not gonna get out here trying to race folks and and act like I don't have any sense. You're not gonna catch me lane filtering and all this and you know, all that other stuff that, that you see some of these younger cats doing. Hey, and, and no knock on them. If that's what floats your boat, man, do what you do. But <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to ride sensibly. And I'm going to do what I can to uh, preserve these bikes. I'm going to do what I can to preserve my own health and welfare and just enjoy myself. Enjoy the sport of riding. Um, I'll find me a, uh, some tracks that I can get to. And, you know, I'll, I'll take these out um, to the track and I'll get down on it. And, you know, I'm not excelling to be the fastest guy at the track, um, but, you know, I, I will excel to have fun and to do it safe. But uh, I'm getting preachy because I'm fired up. Um, <laughs> man, I got these beautiful pieces of machinery in here. And look, and I still got the got old Nina over here. This is a Mrs. Bike. And uh, I want to leave her out. She's, she's still part of the pack. But uh, over here is the big boys over here. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. And uh, I'm going to fire these bikes up. And I'm going to get me a sound comparison between the two. And uh, we'll have us a before for the 1000. And then we will have... And after, after I put on that new Acropovic pipe, once it comes in. So that's it, people. Y'all be good. I'll get with y'all later. Peace. So one thou here. Oh, people, look at here. All right. 